Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Mass Effect 3. Let's play. Okay, so we'll talk to everybody on this level. Uh, and let's see, what is... Is there anybody? I can't remember if there's anybody in here. I think I always come in here uselessly. Yeah, nobody. I, I, always, I always expect to come there and see Legion. What's that? Um... <laughs> Gold coin says uh, that's shitty. Uh, that it had freemium. Uh, that Dead or Alive Five was a freemium because Dead or Alive uh, has such a passionate modding community. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yes, passionate, very passionate modding community in the Dead or, in the Dead or Alive realm. <laughs> Too bad you weren't here earlier, Tally. You just missed Rex. Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the Geth out. I don't know. The Genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No, but there was a scary bit with the mother of all Thresher Maws. The what? Long story. Nobody will believe it anyway. With you, Garrus, I'd believe just about anything. Oh? <laughs> we should play poker sometime. Anyway, it's good to have you back. Now, believe it or not, this damn gun still needs calibrating. Of course it does. And, uh, and, uh, Tally's mind, so just watch it! Um. <laughs> Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough. Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palapin? Some. And I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there, in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you tell Victus? What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Paladin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both? Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. Um, people will sense your doubts or why not? You're a good leader. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me, everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. And they get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's yeah, that's a problem. Shepherd, the ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? Um, if it avoids extinction, I guess. If all life in the galaxy vanishes because we hesitate, what choice do we have? <sighs> this is going to be a rough war. Um, what was it? Do, 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 do. Uh, alright, so who, who else is still on this floor? Okay, so Ashley is on this floor, and Lee, oh yeah, and Liara too, okay. So we'll go, we'll go talk to them, and then, hmm, I wonder what mission I should do next. Um, I was thinking, I was thinking too, if I wanted to include in this playthrough, like some of some of the really, they have some Joker, of these really. really? Oh. I have work to do. Come on, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. I can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable <laughs> to ask a friendly Asari. I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. Fine. Deny <laughs> me the answer I've been seeking for years. With this war on, we could die at any second, you know. Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to side with Joker. I want to know. You know he's going to keep bothering you until you tell him. 
<sighs> They're semi-flexible cartilage-based scalp crests that grow into shape, and they don't flop around. Thanks, <laughs> Liara. I gotta tell Vega I was right. Well, at least he's making friends. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad we have an answer on that. We, I mean, we can't let that question go. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. Oh, that's Hello, Shepherd. that's all I'm gonna get is a. Hello, Shepard. That's it. Come on, corresponding from Classified Alliance Pro Project staff, uh, Doctor Loke. I was wondering on that uh, problem you sent me last night, and I think I found us found a solution for synchronizing the Crucible's energy bursts. Uh, punch that attached uh, capacitor redesign into the your projections. It should it should shave three point six milliseconds off the Mass Effect field's activation time. You can see where that leads. If you approve, I'll send the schematics to manufacturing. We need roughly 250,000 by, uh, by tomorrow morning for a testing, Dr. Cole. Um, was it uh, done some investigation? The game you're referring to, I was referring to earlier, was Dead or Alive 5. Uh, last round core fighters. Oh, okay. That's yeah. Okay, yeah. That sounds familiar. Yeah, not a fan of the freemium model. Um, email from Jacob Taylor to Brian today. I miss you, Brian. I I'm glad, uh, but I'm glad you're back uh, there. Uh, the the fighting's going to get tough when we push out with the Crucible. I've gotten the cold shoulder from people who know I used to work with for Cerberus. Can't say I blame them especially after what happened on the Citadel. I've been able to teach other soldiers how Cerberus fights, though. They may be uh, wearing new equipment, but I know their tactics. I love you, Breen. Uh, take care of yourself. Yeah, maybe, maybe Breen's how I'm supposed to say that. Smuggler Manifest on a uh, young geese system. Uh, Operative Morat se uh, has sent Smuggler's uh, Manifests uh, of an Athabasca class... Uh, uh, freighter to authorities in the Yunga system. Excuse me. Uh, the manifest follows. Uh, 8,000 uh, 8, tons of Dexter. Uh, do, do a bunch of stuff. Whoops. So a bunch of shit. Authorities will seize uh, the freighter in two hours uh, per the broker's request. The Yunginis, uh, the, the Yungis, uh government uh, has agreed to provide the slaves asylum and certificate of citizenship in uh, exchange for future favors rendered. Cool. Okay. Uh, any more? Any more hop grades? Any more hop grades? Nope. Okay. All right, and then Ashley. Okay, can I actually talk to Ashley, or is she just gonna give me some auto dialogue shit? She in here? Oh, hey! Heard you were back in form blasting away flashlights down there. Maybe I should be more open-minded. But I'd rather scope down some tin can than a person. I'm right. Right? Fine. I'll shut up. Still fighting Geth after all these years, huh? Humanity one, blinky flashlights zero. Hey there. Come on, give me some dialogue. I want. I want to actually talk. I, th I think I mentioned it the last time I played, but the, yeah, that's that's one of my big criticisms of, of this game is that there's way too much of that auto dialogue -y kind of stuff. It's just like, no, g give me the chance to talk to my my teammates like I always used to. Come on. <clears throat> Wonder. I, I'm actually kind of wondering if I want to do this as as kind of a house cleaning session where I just go through some of the, the quests that are on my list or if I want to do a big mission. I feel like I want to do another big mission tonight. Maybe next session will be house cleaning. Uh, let's see. So, Gabby, have you seen Edie's new body? Oh, I knew this. <laughs> I just mean, it's an amazing work of engineering. Elastic titanium silicon polymers, ultra light harmonic phased power cells. Mm-hmm. And if she ever accidentally walks into a wall, there's just so much padding. Uh, I knew it. <laughs> Wish I were a wall. You pretty much are. 
What was that? Uh, Father Seafood. Uh, um, who do you think think would win in a fight? Um, the Mudokans from Oddworld or the the Lemmings? Um, the the Lemmings, like like actual like lemming birds in real life. Um, I mean, I'd have to go with the Mudokans from Oddworld because I mean they've got they you know they can coordinate. They got the ability to. Uh, to use their uh, their chant to possess people if they need to, um, yeah. Speaking of and actually speaking of which, just before I talk to these guys, um, oh the game character lemmings. Oh, I don't know in that case. Um, I'm actually not sure, but yeah. Um, I was looking up a thing about the new um, um, uh, Apes Exodus remake that they're going to be doing. Um, called um, Oddworld Soulstorm. It's going to be totally different from what the original game was going to be. It's it's like a complete overhaul. It, it's They said it was... It's going to be the game that they wanted to make all those years ago. I'm, I'm really excited to see it. It's great to be back. Feels good to be in an Alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. Commander? Uh, okay. Okay, so that's everybody I can talk to there. Okay. <laughs> of course I wouldn't forget you guys. Uh, okay, so I'm talking to them. Diana Allers and... Uh, oh yeah, Javik. Um, was it... Uh, they're, they're remaking Abe's Exodus? Uh, this scares me. It sounds... Uh, uh, George Lucas like it's the original vision. No, no, no. It's it's not going to be anything like that. Um, no, in fact, uh, they're actually getting away from the goofy side. And, I'm tired. Oh. I need a folding chair or something. There's a, a there's a bed right there. You can you can go do the, that. I talked with Williams between the two twelve Horizon and the Council's other guards. It's like death just follows her around. Um. I was gonna say, yeah, it's uh, they. They're. It seems like they're knocking off a lot of the the goofy humor that they had in it, and they're gonna be going for a much, um, a much darker themed um, uh, Abe's Exodus. Like they're kind of going back to the roots. Like the very first Abe's Odyssey game was pretty dark, but th this one's gonna be even darker. Um, I couldn't believe it when Shepard told me you were on the Normandy. It appears I have that effect on humans. Now Quarians as well. It seems. For what it's worth, Quarians understand what it's like to lose your home. As I understand, that was your own fault. What do you mean? In my cycle, Quarians didn't need helmets to survive. You were the masters of your own planet. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. I see. Liara warned me you weren't what she expected. And nothing about this cycle is what I expected. Even primitive quarians were considered attractive in my age. A pity no one can appreciate it now. Except for perhaps the commander. What? <laughs> how, how do you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. They're called Geth. Yes, a formidable opponent. Why did you allow one on this ship? Legion helped us before. It's still a machine. Machines in your cycle? I take it you had your own problems with AI? The Jatil. They were as the Geth are to this cycle. What happened? Their creators lived on a dying world. It was beyond their ability to save. So they resorted to implants to enhance their intelligence. I think I know where this is going. The AI sees the physical body. It could alter the genetic material at the deepest level. In time, the offspring were molded into a slave race. Few organic traces were left. They were monsters. All machines commit treachery. The one you brought on board is no different. Um, I have to take a chance. At this point, I don't have a lot of options. You do. Throw it out of the airlock. 
Don't you think that's a little drastic? Organics do not know how we were created. Some say by chance, some say by miracle. It is a mystery. Hmm. But synthetics... ...know we created them. And they know we are flawed. Why do you say that? They are immortal. We are not. They see time as an illusion. We are trapped by its limitations. Above all, machines know the reason they were created. Edie might disagree with that, but I see your point. They serve a purpose, while we search aimlessly for ours. In their eyes, organics have no reason to exist. Do not trust them, Commander. That's a very interesting conversation, actually. A very interesting philosophical point about the differences between AI and... Uh, and organics. I, I, I really like that, actually. Um, there must be another way. I can't believe there isn't some way for us to coexist. We made them. And then gave them the power to surpass you. There is room for only one order of consciousness in the galaxy. The perfection of the machines or the chaos of the organics. Throw the machine out of the airlock, Commander. Yeah, we'll see about that. Um, but yeah, what's what's interesting is um, I, I actually I I really really liked um, well no I loved A, uh, Abe's Odyssey and Abe's Exodus and it turns out that Abe's Exodus was actually made in only nine months. They had only nine months to make it, and so they had to base it on those. Oh, it's got heart. The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. <laughs> More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect field. Jumpers <laughs> thick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that take. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, the internet has had that debate over those two vehicles plenty of times before. Um, but, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, but yeah, the um, is it? Yeah, Abe's Exodus apparently was only made in about nine months. It was actually a rush job. I can't. I can't believe one of one of my favorite, you know, one of my my favorite childhood games, or, or no, teenagehood, early teenagehood games, um, was uh, was a rush job. Man, the, the the differences between rush jobs then and versus the rough job, the rush jobs and games now, man, it's night and day. I mean, you had you still had to complete the game before you released it back then. Hey, Shepard. Hey. Sounds like you guys had a crazy ride over there. You could say that. Sorry, I missed it. And that Geth Legion. I know you two have a past, but you sure we can trust it? Absolutely. Legion's not like other Geth. We can trust it. If you say so. I guess you can't always judge an individual by their species. Look at Sparks. If all the Quarians were like her, we wouldn't be stuck refereeing their war with the Geth. Sparks? Yeah, your Quarian friend. The jumpy one with the glowing eyes. Sparks. D uh huh. <laughs> Crazy that they pick now to start a fight. But I guess the end of life as we know it can make everybody a little loco. Just a little? Hey, not everybody's as crazy as you, sir. Uh, do, 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 do. uh, what was that? Um, I think the people who made Abe's Exodus were really good at reusing uh, assets in clever ways back then. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Uh, the original Crash trilogy was all one year apart from from each release. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that, but I mean, I mean that makes sense. I mean, it's basically the same game with like zero graphical improvements. I mean, it's fine. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh yeah, wait. What was my armor? 
I feel like my armor was something that I didn't want. Armor set. Uh, okay, see my armor? Oh, yeah, no, that is what I wanted, actually. Oh, wait, couldn't I change the visor? Oh, no, that is the visor I wanted. Okay, yeah, no, 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 we're good to go. Um, okay, so I guess we are good to go on to a mission now. Woohoo! <laughs> That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. If you want to see me play live, check out the links in the description. Come talk to me, maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.